Okay, so um, what we're going to do to make our first incision is we're actually going to cut all the way across the sartorius and we're going to cut across the gracilis. Now, we're just going to go ahead and cut this all the way through. Move this out of the way. Should really cut away from myself. Especially while I'm videotaping myself making an incision. No, I didn't cut all the way through. Oops. Trying to get that thing didn't happen. Great. So once I go ahead and peel this off. So that's that. Uh... Let's see gracilis. gracilis. Now, what we'll see is there's a couple different muscles in here, okay? This first one's all the way in the back. This is one of your hamstrings. This is the semimembranosus. And so called, at least in my mind, because it's very wide. So it's wide and flat, kind of like a membrane. And this muscle, actually, you can see it in the back here. The three hamstrings are the biceps femoris. This guy right here, which is the semitendinosus, which is kind of like this long, thin strap. And I always remember that because it's like long and thin, like a tendon. Okay? And then on the back side of that, over here, is the semimembranosus. Okay? So we have biceps femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus. Or you can look at it from the inside. Semimembranosus semitendinosus, and then here's the back side of the biceps on the other side. Okay, right next to that, we have the adductors. Okay, so these muscles in here are all adductors. So these like your groin muscles, they all adduct, they pull the muscle together. So here we have, this is called the adductor femoris, okay? Separate this out. Here we have the adductor longus which is this little muscle right here. So we have the femoris, which is the wider, larger one. The longest, which is the thinner, and it keeps going up, so that's why we call it longus, because it's actually the longer of the two. And then in here, we have this little tiny muscle called the pectineus, which I don't really teach my kids, but it gets all torn up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And that's it. On the front side of the leg, we have our quads, okay? So our quadriceps run underneath that tensor fascia all the way back into here. Pick this up. Cut it. Cut through this fascia, the tensor fascia. So, I'm going to take forceps, pick this up, cut it. Is that fascia in us or is that just a cat thing? Yeah, we have this too. And by cutting this, and this is Are those really tendons or something? What is that? Aponeurosis. So basically, yeah, wide, yes. flat tendon. So we're going to get this out of the way. So we're going to lift up that tensor fasciae latte. And hopefully, I can get this to work. There we go. Now, with this out of the way, we can start to see what's underneath of that. So right here we have, this is called the vastus lateralis because it's very wide and vast, it's on the lateral side. Here we have what's called the vastus medialis because it's on the medial side, okay? And in the middle, in between, there's actually another muscle that we can separate out which is called the rectus femoris because it goes straight up and down the leg in the femoral region. Okay, so we have this vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, and right here in the middle, this little guy is called the rectus femoris, okay? Underneath the rectus femoris, there's a little tiny muscle down underneath here, which is called the vastus intermedius, and it's hard to separate out, but there's a fourth quad right there. So it's like one, two, three, four, and stop. 